Hello. Uh, it's been about three months now. I haven't done much with the radio, but tonight I decided to do something with it. Uh, thought I'd give you an update as far as where it's at. Um, from my last video, I might remember that I wasn't too satisfied with once the organ stopped playing, how long it took you, how many cranks of the crank you had to do in order for the radio to reread the CD and start playing. It took about five to six seconds. Uh, to try and get around that, uh, I found a radio that has a, a brown mute wire in addition to the usual yellow accessory, no, uh, yellow constant power and red accessory wire. Uh, what I was doing before is cutting the power to the red accessory wire to s completely turn off the radio to make it stop playing. Now with the use of this brown mute wire, the radio stays on, it just goes into a call mode, which essentially mutes the radio so people can receive phone calls instead of having the radio playing at the same time. Uh, the mute wire requires uh, a constant ground to it uh, when it is muted. So what I got here is I replaced my two always open relays with one always closed relay, which means that as soon as I turn the power on, uh, this relay will provide uh, uh, a negative uh, ground to that mute wire and turn off or mute the stereo. Uh, other than the addition of that relay, that always closed relay, I still have the same transistor and the same pulse circuit, the two capacitors and a couple of resistors and my two three-way speakers, uh, a, a little small 12-volt battery for testing purposes, uh, the usual crank with the switch as seen before, and of course when I turn the crank the little cotter key activates the switch. Uh, here's the radio, it's a Kenwood, and I thought I'd go through the process by how it starts and show you exactly how it works now. Uh, first of all, I have a power and a run button. The power, the start button will provide power to the circuit. If I wanted the radio to run all the time without me cranking, I would click the run switch and then the stereo would run all the time. Every time I have to set this up, I first have to turn off the demo. It goes into a standby mode. From there, that's where you can set uh, uh, menu items and whatnot. I can pick the source as being a CD, okay, and it will start playing right away. Now, I have to put some power into this uh, circuit <laughs> at least once. So I crank it, okay. And once I crank it a few times, if I stop, it goes into a call mode, which means that right now the radio is getting a call in, so it's muting it. Now if I want to start playing again, I have to crank it once, twice, three times only. It's not much, but I think it's better than it was before. Um, other than that, uh, my next little project is actually to um, disassemble all this and mount it in a little square box so my woodworker guy can figure out exactly how to handle it when he throws it into this cabinet for me. So, uh, other than that, uh, I think we should be good to go. Like I said before, if I I have to stop it at a certain spot in order to go to the call. That's, I can't get away from that. And turn it to run. It will run all the time. And I like this song better. So have a good night and I'll make another update once I get it into my
simulate uh, my box to simulate the cabinet for the woodworker. Have a good night.